All officially started yesterday, but yeah. we've been in fall type weather for the last two weeks. I mean, really, we should be used to it by now. Yeah, and it's going to get even cooler by the end of the week. Yeah, getting more fall. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so you can definitely legitimize wearing the UGG boots. Natasha on her UGG boots. Yeah, she don't have them on today. But no, no, nope. nope. probably by the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, wearing the jacket. Now, if you come to work in a beanie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a hard time <laughs> because you probably don't need that. 64 degrees in Seaside right now. We'll talk about those cooler temperatures here in just a moment. Wind out in the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Nice, healthy onshore flow for us continues for the next couple of days. And then the wind direction switches around. And then we're going to be tapping into some of the air from the Gulf of Alaska in Canada. And then you're really going to feel a difference. Low to mid 70s right now in the valley. Hood River 68, Mount Hood 55, a government camp, and 68 right now in Kelso. Low 60s at the coast. Now, tomorrow morning, some of you may be waking up to some areas of fog, patchy fog, not too dense, um, especially if you live along the river. You know the areas that where you typically get fog. You're likely to run into it tomorrow. But by about 8, 9 o'clock, then we'll start to see the clouds parting. 56 degrees for your lunch hour, 62, partly cloudy. And for the 5 o'clock hour, expecting nice clear conditions, very few clouds, and a high right around 70. So I want to take you out to Mount Hood Meadows. This is a view from the top of the Cascade Chair. So giving you this view because by the time we get to this weekend, we could see elevations, especially at 7,000 feet, but possibly down to 5,000 feet, where we could have a new dusting of snow covering the mountainside as we get to this Saturday and Sunday. But let's first walk through Thursday. Well, first of all, tomorrow dry. Thursday, midday, here's our next chance of rain. Not very much, you know, widespread happening. It's kind of party here or there. Friday, Friday afternoon and evening, next chance for rain. Again, very limited. You see it at the coast. You see it for parts of the valley and also into the foothills here. And then watch what happens to the color scheme here. We see a lot of pink showing up, indicating a mix of rain and snow. And then where you see white indicates snowfall. So this is Saturday, about 3.30 in the afternoon. Noticing how things, of course, will be warming up. We're not going to see any snow in the valley. It's just way too warm for that. Um, but certainly snow for some of our mountain resorts, no problem at all. Uh, we could see snow fall as low as about even 4,000 feet, more so for the Cascades in Washington. But it'll be when we watch some of the coldest temperatures come through in those overnight hours. And again, late at night, we could see snow down to about 4,000 feet, but it's not going to be sticking at that point. You just might see it fall as it's coming. Now, of course, all of this means we have to have enough moisture to come through in addition to the colder temperatures and sometimes getting the two to overlap is a little bit tough. Right now, this particular model is showing us the two will combine but that could still change between now and this weekend. Just want to give you a heads up in case you're heading out that direction. Or if nothing else, if you're doing any outdoor activities, especially if it involves anything overnight, you want to bundle up for sure. Uh, so rainfall totals going from Thursday into Sunday, maybe a quarter of an inch to about four tenths of an inch for us in the valley. So not looking at any big soakers like we've had the last couple of weeks. Daytime highs tomorrow at the coast will be in the mid to upper 60s. Inland Valley temps, low 70s, overnight temperatures in the low 50s. Your overnight temperatures, Central and Eastern Oregon, are already in the 40s. Uh, daytime highs tomorrow, mid 70s. Uh, Hood River, 73. The Dalles back up to 76. And Government Camp, likely the last warm day for a while, <laughs> 562 tomorrow. Seven day forecast, here you go. So, this is what we're talking about for the big drop in temperatures. I'm noticing by Sunday, Sunday morning, you're waking up to temperatures in the mid to low 40s. But then Monday, Monday, you're high only 60 in those morning lows right around the low 40s. Potentially, we could see some valley temperatures in the upper 30s. Yeah, you're really going to be feeling the difference now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Natasha. Sure. We want to remind you that Coin 6 is now on Portland CW starting at 10.